Hello, my name's Brennan. This is my beautiful wife, Kiri. Hello. This is my daughter, Harper. Harper. And our son, Hudson. Hello. And our dogs. And our dogs. This is Dante. He is a Cavalier King Charles Spaniel. And this is Scout, who is a miniature long-haired dash hound. And we are the Doors That Explore. Explore. So I thought we'd introduce you to our family ahead of this YouTube series, so to speak and uh, all the videos that are gonna come up. Um, this is a family that's gonna be conducting 12 months yeah. on the road. Uh, dogs may or may not be included. Yes. Varying levels of enthusiasm on the trip. <laughs> um, Hudson, how do you feel about the trip? Very His enthusiastic. Sounds of silence shows you how Hudson feels about the trip. And what about you, Harper? How do you feel about going I on a trip? I good. See, some people are more excited than others. So Hudson, how old are you, Hudson? So Hudson's 10, and what year are you at in school? Four. Year four. And Harper, how old are you? I'm six, and I'm in year one. So that's this year. So next year we'll be having Hudson turning 11, and he'll be in year five, and then Harper will be... Eight. How old are you next year? Seven, and I'll be in year two. Oh. And who's going to be your teachers next year on the road? Um, Mum and Dad. <laughs> We've already done some camping and some trips in the van. And in the car? And what like, do you think of the van? Very cool because there's a toilet and because there's a couch so you can even sleep on the table. <laughs> yes. <laughs> the table in our van folds down and you can actually put like another bed in there. And do you like Dad's car, Hudson? Yes. Yeah, it's pretty yeah. cool, isn't it? It's got some fancy heated seats and you can go four-wheel drive. No, it, it doesn't for the back seats. No, not in the back, only in the front. No, so they've got a stomach without the heated seats. Yeah. That's the family. Oh. Right. The idea. The idea. So we were on a trip in our camper trailer, which is a step up from the tent we had. Yep. Which you weren't a fan of. I hated the tent. So we got a camper trailer, <laughs> which went really well. We did quite a few trips in that. Yes. It was um, actually from a local family. They were getting rid of it. Their kids were too old, didn't want to go out with mum and dad. So we got it in middle of COVID, well, early, early COVID. And I liked it because they had a bed. We had our own queen size mattress. And that's when we sort of got that first taste of adventure and we could take it away so we we used to go away quite a lot in it yep and then we had a van pull up next to us a yeah. very large van quite a lot larger than one behind yeah. us here um yeah. and out popped a family and my wife being the social butterfly she is went and made friends of course and we found out they were doing 12 months on the road they are so we were literally in this campsite at we were at kayama actually and um a van like ours just pulled up next to us and you're there sitting down with your camper trailer and your wine and we're like oh wow look at these guys they're like celebrities um they're just in the middle of all the tent sections and as my husband said I'm a bit of a have a chat so I went and had a chat with them and they had two little boys and their boys were actually very similar ages to our kids uh at, at the same time and we just found out that they had started their lap so we were like oh wow like that would be really cool and this was back in 2020 2000, it was uh, end of 2020 this was. Um, yeah, and they gave us a rundown of all the yeah. YouTubes they follow. So we then joined all the YouTubes and we started watching them. And it went from being a, a, an idea an idea, or a to, to uh, yeah, something we wanted reality. to Reality. To reality, really. So we started the process. We did. So that was four years. So we worked out at that point, Brennan had been at his job for, he was in 16 years. So we worked out another four years by June this year, he would have hit 20 years, which is his long second lot of long service, which is six months of leave for you. Or 12 months half pay. Or 12 months half pay. Um, and we also realized, well, Hudson would be going into year five and Harper would be going into year two. So really we have to do it now before it gets any late any later really mainly for Hudson for, for school too hard for them for their their social integra integration I guess and, uh, yeah, and too hard school. for us to teach it which was the yes. other issue yes because it's very complex I ain't teaching high school <laughs> the van the big rig so this is this bad boy that you see behind you right now so that was a 13 month wait and we ordered that in 20 January 2022. 2022? No, 2021. Because no, we got it in February 2022. Yes. So when we actually first met this family, we then sort of got the ball rolling quite early because we were like, by the time we found out how long you had to wait for vans and things like that. So we pretty much had ours ordered in the next three months after we originally um, 
first came up with the idea. And we picked JB. We picked a JB Gator. Yeah, went with the Australian maid and service to try and help with the the warranty and just general maintenance of it. And um, we had another family on YouTube we follow which had one as well, mm. which was beneficial. We yes. get to see a lot of the issues and problems that arise. Um, they went the Gator X, I think, the yes. one we're following. They didn't have many, let's just say that. Yeah, shout out to Now and Never. They're yes. the ones that had it. Yes, they were um, great. So we learned a lot off them. They're now moved on to bigger and better things mm. and renovating and all that. But um, we went the Gator, so we had a bit more weight to play with, essentially, because we we're trying to keep everything down light to avoid too much expenses. Mm. Um, so we'll see how that goes on the road. And we, yeah, we, we picked this van. It had everything that we wanted. We didn't really want to go any bigger than an 18-foot van, but 18-foot is what it is. <laughs> yeah. And it had everything in it that, that we wanted. So we're very, very happy with it, and the kids like it as and well. And we'll go through. You'll see some video at the end of this of the van and what's in it, um, but we'll do an in-depth review of the van a bit later, a bit closer to it once we finalise what's going in it as well as yes. when we do a weigh in. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that's the van. That's the van. Okay, the car. Another key important part of this trip. So yes. we wanted to make sure we got something that would be able to tow and also that would last it was through reliable. the trip. Um, you know, we never really had a lot of new cars, no. so we decided to go new. We did. So we originally had a Pajero Sport but we, the towing wasn't quite up to snuff. No, not not for a trip around Australia, not for, not a, for a caravan. <laughs> so my dad's actually got an Isuzu D-Max, um, but an older version of ours. And we actually used it when we moved houses and we quite liked the car. Um, and Isuzu's are very reliable. Um, we've been told by a lot of people. And we ended up going with the Ute. Brendan really wanted to have yeah, the so that's Ute. Yes, that's a cat out of the bag. Uh, <laughs> we didn't get what, what's the, what's the uh, car that everyone has to get? The Land Cruiser? No, we didn't get a Land or Cruiser. Or the F Ford 100. No, you don't need it. No, we don't it. have the money. And you know, even though, yes, planning four years or starting this dream four years ago um, gave us plenty of time to save up uh, and buy new, we still weren't outlaying that kind of money on a car. We went for reliable. Um, Went for flexibility in the sense I've been able to do some stuff to it, and there'll be a video all about that later on. Yes. Uh, a lot of homemade inventions in the boot, as such, yes. to get it running. Yeah, there's a lot of things that we're adding to the back of the U. Well, not a lot of things, but just some key things that we'll go through with you guys as well later that we've put in the back of that U that's going to help us with our yeah. travels. Oh, and if you guys have suggestions too when it comes yeah. to what tools to take and what needs to be yes. in, by all means, we're all just beginners, we're all just yeah. learning. Uh, we're hoping that we, this can be a bit of a two-way conversation, possibly. Yes. We're always welcome to take advice, but yes, yes so we got a new car. So that's yes. not so new now. It's now a year and... So that took about 10 months yeah. to get the car, and we did pick... I said to him he could have whatever car he wanted, really, but it had to be white. <laughs> we I don't know a, why. It's not going to be white once we start travelling. It's, it's white currently, and uh, white or silver was all he was allowed, because we had a red car recently before, and I just said never again. So that... We're really happy when we got top of the line. We got an X Terrain. Uh, we both just fell in love with the X Terrain in the in the dealership. And when we found out all the prices of everything that was included in it, we just we couldn't say no. So together, it's a pretty good looking setup that we've got. Yes. So maybe there'll be video going up once I get all the the, the kids stains out of the seats so we can show it off. <laughs> it's got the car seats in there. And, <laughs> Not that it'll last long once we start travelling around for the, with the kids in the back. But from the time that we've had it, we've had no issues with it at all. And we tow it, I even tow it. I've had no troubles with that car whatsoever. It's, it tows beautifully, it's a really good car, very comfortable to drive as well. Yep, so that's the car. Yep. So that brings us to the house and what's left behind. Yes, so when we met this other family, they actually rented their house out. So we were very inspired by that. We were like, oh, okay, you know, how? Like, how could you do that? And they just told us saving, 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 saving. Which again comes down to the fact that we spent four years building up to this. Um, yeah. You know, cutting much to my wife's dismay, cutting a lot of holidays short, even though she likes to have a holiday every school holidays. And clothes, I like clothes. So telling her that no, we're gonna have one big 12 month holiday, so we don't need to have a holiday every school holiday. Um, that's not always how it works. That's right. But um, yeah, a lot of people sell their house. A lot of people. We chose not to. We're both living in Sydney. Brennan works down in, um, in the city. I work out here. We thought if we did 
send sell our home we may not be able to get back into the market and especially in the area that we are we're really happy here and our kids are very settled and so are we so we've decided especially with the amount of rent that we can get for our house that renting is the best but we can't live off the rent the rent is going to basically cover our mortgage mm. so that was something that we had to factor in when we made this decision to to keep our home yes so we are We'll, we'll put up some videos regarding the house and how the rental process goes and yeah, clearing it out well. but uh we'll be leaving the house behind yes and even mm. though we've got six months our official move dates the 27th of december when we're actually leaving and actually gone completely we're going to move into my parents house uh, which is about half an hour from here just uh, a few weeks prior just to make sure that everything's settled and the tenants are in and um yeah, it, it, there's still so much that has to be done and we're still, it's just the decluttering process because you have so much stuff in your home and we have to pack it all up and pack it away because we are only going to be living in an 18 foot van and weight is a big issue for us. We have to be careful with what we pack. Yes, and it's always hard to decide what to throw away and what to keep, but... Um... Yeah, they designed the vans with lots of storage, which we loved, but then we only had, by the time you add the water tanks, uh, filled up with water and the gas the gas bottle we've got about 400 four to 500 kilos of excess weight to add on there and that includes all your clothes your food all your everything basically barbecues generators so we are going to do a weigh video later in the year we're going to get a company out and actually properly weigh it because this is this is the this is an issue for a lot of caravans you have to check your weights you see these vans being towed but if you fill all your things up with your storage you're going to be over but that's a whole other kettle of fish. We'll, we'll deal with that in another video. But that's also something that we've had to think about. Yes. Is that. And my car, I've got a extra. It's an older car, but I love my little car. It, I do. Um, I used to do markets with some of my um, resin products that I did. And obviously that's something that's going to have to get put on hold. But my car carries everything. It's a really good size vehicle. So we also had to weigh up, are we going to sell it? But then when Brendan comes back, is he going to go back to sea and are we going to be able to manage with one car? And really, we, we've always had two cars. We don't think of anything different. Our, our intention is to come back. Yes. And, you know, we've got to pay off what we spent going around because we're not selling the house. Uh, we're not planning on, you know, working while we're doing our trip. No. So we're going to have to come back and go back to work. Yes. And so we're going to need our house. We're going to need our cars. Yeah. Uh, so all that's going to need to be stored. All that needs yes. to be sorted. So all that will be covered in in future videos mm -hmm. um, showing the process in that showing how hard it is to rent or how easy it is to rent mm -hmm. we'll find out with us yeah, which we'll way out. which way it goes we've heard it's pretty hot in our, in our um, area at the moment so but you know who knows but my parents were lucky enough they have a house which can accommodate my car so my parents are going to mind my car in the meantime and also some of our furniture will go to their house as well so there are some things there that we've uh, we've got in the plan and we're probably going to have to get a storage unit we want to thank you. This is our first official video that we've done for our trip. So make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. And if you have any questions or comments about anything that we've done or that we've spoken about or anything that you want us to talk about, ask us. Yes, this will be the first of what will probably be many videos, depending on reception once we start <laughs> moving around. We'll do our best but, to get um, them out. We'll run you through our process as we go and we'll continue to upload and hopefully uh, teach you guys a few things at the same time as you guys can teach us a few things. That's right. Like following following other families on YouTube has, has actually helped us a lot and being very prepared has been really good too. Having that four years, not just dropping it and making it up in, in um, you know, one, one year time slot has really helped us as well. We're going to be on Instagram and Facebook with Doors That Explore on all of those social media platforms. Those social media platforms will be more reels and short stories and shorter posts. And our YouTube videos will be our longer posts with more information. Thank you for watching. Thank you.